So I was like, okay, cool. So anyway, me and her went downstairs and I'm just doing whatever I'm doing, like testing sockets in the kitchen. So I'm talking to her. I can't remember. She mentioned us. She said something along the lines of like she hated her son's uh, girlfriend. So basically her old daughter-in-law. But the other daughter-in-law, because she's got another son, she's cool with that daughter-in-law. She loves her, isn't it? But the son that has the girl that kicked him out, she hates that, that, that girl. Let's just call her Sophie. She hates Sophie. Basically, Sophie's got a new man now. Yeah. And she the mom said to me, Yeah, but Sophie was kind of seeing like established with this man before they broke up. So I said, Oh, so she cheated on him. And she was like, Well, yeah, I'm that like, boy. But that, that's just the natural progression of everything. Yeah. Most men that hook up with most gal, you might think, oh yeah, she was just a hundred percent single. No way. Yeah. No girl is really single. There's a few girls in this chat right now, yeah. They might claim they're single. They're not truly single, yeah? They're talking to some ex. They got some guy that they're using, yeah? Or they're going back and forth with some guy. He, he don't want a proper relationship, but she wants more and that. No girl is truly single. No girl has not spoken to a guy for four months. Lying dead. Radio silence. No way. So no girl is truly single. So what happens is the girls will start lining up your replacement before they get rid of your ass. It's happened to everyone. Yeah. Every man who, who, who's got a girl and that like has acquired a girl, you might think, oh yeah, man. Yeah, she was just single. Nah, fam. Nah, 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 nah. She weren't a hundred percent single. No way. They always got somebody. They always got somebody. And then do you know what happens? Yeah. So this is what happens. Come me, I study this thing, you know. Yeah. I got a PhD self certificated in this blood clot thing. What happens is the reason why, when you break up with a girl instantly, like suddenly, out of nowhere, you know, like someone just dies. Yeah. Oh, that guy was healthy and then he just died. Like one of them was shot. When you break up with a girl instantly yeah, and out of nowhere, do you know why she always comes running back? Because she might be committed to you right then and there. Yeah. So she's being faithful and that. She ain't got no other options. That's why she comes running back. Yeah, but I promise you, when the chicks yeah break up with you, they already lined up a replacement. Yeah, I'm talking about a proper breakup, not an argument where they say fuck off out my yard or let's say you don't live with each other and you just have an argument. I'm not talking about that. When a girl is truly broken up with you and she's moved on, yeah, in her head or whatever, she's already lined up your replacement. I promise you, she's already lined up your replacement. I promise you, blood. They all do it. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. This is just facts. Yeah, this is just facts. This is just facts. They, yeah. Look, there's even a chick right now, yeah, pretending to be Nicky. But nah, I play. Yeah, but yeah, there's a chick right now saying facts. They, they, they know. They know it's true. They know it's true. If you all of a sudden break up with a girl, she will come running to you because it's come out of nowhere. She hasn't had time to line up your replacement. Think about it this way: Would you be more comfortable? Knowing that redundancies are coming up at your workplace six months in advance, rather than they pull up to you on a Wednesday afternoon saying, yo, it's your last day today at work. Yeah? You're going to panic, blood. Yeah? Whereas if you know, okay, there's redundancies coming up in six months, right, now I've got time to prepare and that. It's the same for your relationship, right? This guy's getting weak. He's acting like a bitch, right? What I'm going to do is before I fully get rid of him, I'm going to have someone else there on the side. I don't know if she's going to bang him. I don't know. She's going to have someone else there. So it's like a smooth transition. Get off one train and get on another train. You ever done that before? You ever got to a platform, got off one train and literally on the other platform, there's the train that you need going the direction that you need. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah? Just like that. You, 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 you get off the bus, at um, you get off the WA at Edmonton Green and then there's the 192 waiting for you. Yeah, to take you to Bushel Park. Yeah, just like that. And then it's funny. The woman it asked you today, yeah, oh, do you believe in marriage? I'm thinking, what, to end up like your son? <laughs> Are you mad? No way. No way. 